guys, welcome back. It's your girl Katie here, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a recap on my Shop My Stash for the month of November. Now, what that means is I will be going through all the products that I picked out for the month of November, and I will be telling you guys whether or not I still love them or not. But yeah, before we get on into this video, please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. But other than that, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'm going to be going through these products as if I were to be putting them on my face. And by the way, I do have all these products on my face today. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and start with uh, foundation because I don't wear primers. Um, how I prime my face is I just moisturize it. I have dry skin, so that's just what works best for me. And I just haven't found a primer that works well for my skin. So I picked out the Physician's Formula the healthy foundation um in the shade 20 i think oh no it's in the shade lc1 so it's this foundation right here and this was actually my first time using it or when i did my shop my stash that was the first time i i had used this um so a couple of things about this i like this foundation but there are some things that i don't like about it it looks really good on the skin and I like that it has a doe foot applicator um, which I thought was really unique because I don't have any other foundations that are like that um, but having said that I don't like it at the same time because the issue I was kind of having is when you pull it out the thing you know it's fine but sometimes when you put it back in I don't know if it's just because there's product in there it'll splash out it's not a bad, you know, it's not like a ton, but, you know, it will speckle you a little bit. So that was a little bit, not the best, but, and also the packaging is, like, really cheap. This popped off, like, the first time I used it, which, again, is not that big of a thing, but it just makes it feel like it's cheap, considering the packaging is kind of falling apart. And one of the main things about this foundation that I didn't like was the smell of it. It has a very, very strong scent and it's not like fragrance, like, you know, like perfume or something. It's like almost chemically smelling and I don't like that. And it's very strong, but the good thing about that is it doesn't linger on the skin. So after I've applied it and blended it out, I don't smell it anymore, but definitely when I'm applying it to my face, I can smell it and it's just kind of unpleasant. I'm just like, mm, I don't like the smell of that. Um, so those were the cons about it. The pros is it actually looks really nice on the skin. I like the finish of it. Only bad thing is it's not very good coverage. So I would say this is more like a light medium coverage. Um, so it doesn't really cover up my blemishes very well. See, so I have one right here that you can kind of still see peeking through. And that was with me applying several layers over that. So it doesn't do great covering up blemishes or anything like that. But I do really like the finish of the skin. I think this might work someone work well for someone who has like dry, not dry, normal skin, maybe oily, because I don't feel like it gets oily. But for someone with dry skins, it definitely will accentuate your dry patches. It's not horrible, but it will accentuate them. But that's pretty common. So, uh, so I like it. I just there's just some things like I said that I didn't like about it. So I still like this product though, and I will continue using it. All right, and then moving on to the concealer. And for the concealer, I picked out the Pretty Vulgar, um, I think it's just a Pretty Vulgar Undercover Concealer. Um, this is in the shade 60, which is Little White Lies. I do really like this uh, concealer. And at first I didn't think I did like it when I first started using this product because it, it is a very light kind of watery concealer. Like it's not thick. And I kind of like that it's a little bit watery because it blends out really well and it doesn't make my skin feel dry. And for me, with dry skin, that works perfectly. But the only bad thing about this is it doesn't really have much coverage because it is so light and kind of like watery. Um, and you know, watery is not a good thing, but for this concealer it works. It's just very creamy, like thin. And I like that because um, my under eyes can get pretty cake cakey if I use one that's too thick. Um, yeah, I think it's because I have more dry skin or, um, I don't know, like it just works well for me. I don't usually have big bags or like dark circles under my eyes, so I don't need a heavy coverage. 
So if you need heavy coverage, you won't like this because it is not heavy coverage. It's very light uh, coverage, but I like that about it. So I'm still really liking this uh, product. All right, let's see what would be next. I would usually do setting powders, but I've been using the same setting powders for the last several months because I've been trying to use it up, so I'm not going to talk about that. Um, so next would be bronzer. So what I picked out for bronzer was the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette here. Um, this is what it looks like. And I didn't think I was going to like this because it's a very cool toned uh, contour palette and I like more bronzy palette, but it actually kind of grew on me. The more I used it, the more I did like it. The only thing that I do have to say about this palette is I feel like I'm almost... I don't know, I feel like it's gonna kind of a waste because I don't use that many of the shades in here. Like I don't use this one and I don't really use these brightening powders just because I don't really do that. So the only two shades I'm using is these two right here. I just mix the two, but they do look really nice on the skin. And I don't think, I think this is one I got in my BoxyCharm. So I'm using it up. I didn't go and purchase this just out flat. So I don't feel like Although I feel like I'm wasting it a little bit just because I'm not able to use all the shades in here. I didn't go out and just purchase this just to purchase this. This is something I received in a box. So I'm just going to use it up and I'm not feel bad about it. I think I will start trying to use these brightening powders. Even though I feel like the times that I did use, I did use them. They just didn't do much. But I mean they're there so I'll just use it up. So I like this palette. It's just I would probably never repurchase this just because... I'm, like I said, I don't want to be wasteful um, and only use like two of the products in it. I just don't feel like that's worth buying a whole palette just to use two shades. But since I have it, I will continue using it and it actually surprised me because I do like how it looks on my face. Alright, and then moving on to blush, the one I picked out was this one from Tarte. And this is the Blush Authority Amazon Clay, Clay Cheek Wardrobe. And this has three shades in it. This is one of their holiday sets. Um, so it has three shades. So this one up here is yours truly, Into You, and Playtime. Now I only use two of the shades in here just because this top one has more of like a shimmery kind of look to it. And I really wasn't feeling like having shimmery like a shimmery blush so I just use these two shades here and I actually really like them a lot. I would just mix the two together just dip it in and put it on and actually I don't know um I was kind of I don't know I've never used Tarte blushes before so I was really uh, pleasantly surprised by the quality of them and how it looked on the face. I don't know I just I don't really have much to say other than that I like the shades and I'm still liking the product but again I didn't I just didn't use the top one because it's shimmery and I feel like shimmer blushes are more for summertime and it is fall right now so that's the only reason why I didn't use it all right next up is highlighter and the one that I chose this month was the hyper real glow by MAC and this palette quickly became one of my favorites um, I really like the highlights and again I was only able to use two of the shades just because this one is too dark for me but I do feel like I could probably use this one as like a shadow or something. I just didn't think about doing that this time. I think I said I was going to do that and I just forgot and I just used as highlights. But um, I already kind of got like a little bit of a dip in this shade here and a little bit going on there. So I've been really liking this and I do have it on my face right now. And although it is one of those golds where I can kind of see it on my skin, I don't think it's that bad and it's not that noticeable. And I just really like the shine that it gives to my face. So very, very happy with this product right here. All right, and then next up for the palette, the palette that I picked for this month was the Naked by Urban Decay. Um, this is just the first palette, and this palette uh, really, really surprised me. Um, I don't know. When I uh, picked this palette... I was like, I'm not super excited about this, to be completely honest. So I was thinking that. I don't know if I said that on camera, but I was thinking. I was like, you know, I have not used this, so you know, it's good to use products that I haven't used in a while. But deep down, I was not really thrilled just because this palette, honestly, and even still looking at it, it just looks boring. Um, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's the shapes of the 
pans or just the, I don't know, I don't know why this palette looks boring to me, but it does. But having said that, you know, making myself use this for a month, I actually grew to really like this palette. And I, the, what caught me off guard is normally I don't like palettes that have not many matte shades to it. And this palette only has three matte shades. That's this one right here, this one right here, and that one there, there. Those are the only mattes. Um, the rest are all shimmers. And I don't typically like palettes that don't have that many mattes in them. So I was like, ugh, this is just gonna be probably a fail because I can already tell I wasn't liking it. But I was really surprised because um, so typically how I do my makeup is I will do a transition shade and then I will do a deep matte shade in the corners here and then I will do a shimmer like in the center. That's just how I've always done my makeup. Um, so I stick to that and so I was looking at this palette and I was like, oh, there's not a dark shade. What am I going to deepen up the corners with? So I was like, well, there's some deep shimmer shades over here so I'll just use these. And I was like, although that normally doesn't work for me because I just don't usually like how shimmer, or shimmer just doesn't work the same as matte, so it don't deepen up very well. So I was like, well, you know, I've got to work with what I got. So I went ahead and did that, and these shades actually work really, really well as, uh, I don't know what, like, the proper word is. Like, deepening shading shades. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It just works well to deepen up the corners. That's what I'm trying to say. And I was really surprised by it because, you know, it looks really shimmery, but they don't really look that shimmery on the lid. They look kind of like a matte. So I was just like, wow, I can deepen up the corners. That's great. And I actually really like this color over here, Creep. I thought it looked more blue, but it looks black on the lid. So that worked out. And then this other one over here, Dark Horse, I love to use to deepen up the corners. It was like this dark kind of green, and it paired really well with the golds. So yeah, I've actually fallen in love with this palette. Um, the quality is super, super good. They blend out wonderfully. The, the shimmers are very pigmented. Like the light shimmers are actually really pigmented and look really pretty on the lids. And like I said, these dark shimmers over here work great to deepen up the corners. So I was really pleasantly surprised. Um, but yeah, was not expecting that. I thought that for sure I was probably gonna end up decluttering this just because like I said, it looked boring. Um, and if a palette's just not inspiring to me, even if the quality is good, I typically don't hold on to them just because I don't feel inspired by them. But yeah, pleasantly surprised. Alright, and then moving on to the mascara that I chose for this month, which is the Tristique, um, what are you called? Good Vibes Mascara. I do like the name of this mascara. Um, yeah, I don't really have a whole lot to say about this mascara. It's definitely not my favorite and probably not one I would ever repurchase. It's just an okay mascara. It looks nice on the lashes, you know, it does its job and everything. I'm just not really, I don't know, a fan of the wand. It's kind of big and kind of clunky, so it's really easy to make messes with it. Um, and the actual mascara, the formula is okay. It does tend to get on the clumpy side. Um, and I don't know if it's just getting old because I have had this for a little while, but I don't feel like it's dry So I don't know why it's really getting clumpy. I personally don't mind a little bit of clumpiness It kind of makes my lashes look a little thicker, but I could see I mean I can only apply it like two layers maybe and then after that I wouldn't try anymore just because I feel like it gets super clumpy um, but Yeah, I think the biggest issue I have is just the wand shape. It just doesn't really work for me my eye shape and it doesn't even look that big but I don't know it's just the mascara just sticks to it and I don't know if there's just not enough a good enough stopper in here I don't really feel like there is that great of a stopper in here so I feel like a lot of the product just kind of builds up on the wand maybe that's why it gets clumpy um, but like I said it's just an okay mascara I don't really hate it but definitely wouldn't repurchase it and it does have a curler here but I don't curl my eyelashes and I feel like this one doesn't even look like it would do that great of a job. So yeah, not a huge fan of this. Don't really hate it though. All right. And the rest is just lip products. So I had chose three lip products this month. I chose a lipstick by Becca, or not by Becca. So I chose a lipstick by Bite. It's just a mini 
kind of a nude lipstick here. This one's really great. I love the shade, super cute. Um, definitely still one of my favorites. Just this cute little mini nude. Really great lipstick. I like, I love By Beauty's lipsticks. And then I was using this Persona gloss and I've actually used this for about two months now. I've had it pulled out in my October and I kept it for my November because I liked it so much. And I still really like it, but I feel like I've gotten my fill of this gloss now. So this one will probably be going back into my collection and I'll probably pull the next one out for next month. Um, but yeah, it's nothing that I don't like it or anything. It's just I've gotten my fill of it So still really like this one looks really great on the lips and super comfortable and This uh, Colourpop one here this red was a first time use for me I bought this a while back, but I just hadn't gotten around to using it and I do really like this red lipstick um, I will say that this Is not my favorite shade of red um it, it, I don't know, it's just very bright red, which I do like, but it's one that's not my favorite shade. I like kind of like a more, not blood, like deep blood red, but like a kind of a darker undertone. I feel like this one has kind of like more of a, oh, I smudged it. I feel like this one has more of like a orangey maybe kind of undertone. It's just very fiery bright red, which is still really pretty. It's just... I don't know, it's not my ideal red shade. Um, but I still really like it and I do really like the formula. It feels very comfortable on the lips. It's not, I don't think it's completely transfer proof. If I kiss my hand, it would show. Not horribly, but it would show. Let's see. Yeah, I can see it. You can see a lip print, which is pretty common. So it doesn't, it's not transfer proof, which it doesn't say it is. Um, but it does feel really comfortable on the lips and it's very lightweight. So I really, really like that about it. And it doesn't make my lips look dry. I mean, uh, liquid lipsticks always dry down a little bit on your lips and you will still see like your little lines and things, but it doesn't make them look, uh, doesn't make them look crispy or, you know, so dry that you're just like, wow, you need chapstick kind of dry, if you know what I'm talking about. So it looks very pretty on the lips. So I do really like this. It's just not my ideal red. It does look really pretty on camera and in person. It's just, I don't know. I. Don't say, don't think that I don't like the color of it because I do. It's just I prefer my Ofer one who has my more of a like a deeper red tone, if that makes any sense. But yeah, pleasantly surprised with this and I will continue to be using this one. So yeah, I think that is everything. Um, so yeah, that is my recap on my November Shop My Stash. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to let me know what the, down below what you guys thought of my recap and if you've tried any of these products and if you agree or disagree with me. But yeah, um, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up because that really does help my channel out a lot. Um, but other than that, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, also, this video is going up on Thanksgiving, so I have hope everyone is having a happy Thanksgiving, whether it, you be staying in or going out with family, whatever you're doing. I hope you guys are having a wonderful time, and um, I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. But yeah, that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And happy Thanksgiving. Bye!